Hi there, my name is Sumit Koyal and I am a subject matter expert in Clickme. I am creating this video to share my knowledge about Clickview with all of you. In this tutorial, we will be going to talk about the joints in Clickview. So joints are basically a SQL concept which is used to join two tables. We have different types of joints in Clickview like inner join, outer join, left join and right join. So we will be going to explore with the similar data set which I have used in my previous video of concatenation. So let's go and create different kinds of joints in ClickView. So first of all, let me load my ClickView. So I have already loaded my ClickView over here and in this I want to load my data set. So to load the data set, I click on edit a script and create a new tab over here as a name as main data and here I'm going to load my QVD file so my QVD file is sales staff dot QVD and sales staff under new dot QVD so in sales staff QVD we have records from 1 to 60 and in sales staff new dot QVD we have records 50 to 90 something like that okay and so I click on this sales staff dot QVD and click on open so we have records from 1 to 60 over here and we have here sales staff code, first name, last name, position and other fields. Click on finish and we can give a name over here. Sales old data. This I give a name to my data set over here. Then I am going to load so simply let's do this and uh, let's see how it works. So I simply click on save and reload the data set. So data set is loaded. I want to create a new sheet object that is a table box and in that table box I want to add sales staff code, first name, last name and position. Click on OK and you can see here we have the records over here in the data table box. Now, I, if I want to show the total number of rows, how many total number of records are there, I want to display that with the help of a text object. So, I simply add a new text object over here and in text, I write here is equal to count sales staff code. So, what it will do, it will count the total number of sales staff code from this particular data set. So I click on apply and ok and you can see here we have total number of records are 60. So you can see here number 1 to 60 we have 60. Records. Now what I want to do is I am going to load another data set into the same script editor. So I open a script editor just after this data set I place my cursor over here and load another data set that is save staff new dot qvd it contains the new records. So I click on open, click on finish. Now what I am going to do is I want to join these two data sets. So I simply use a keyword here join. Now if I simply use a keyword here join so it means uh, so it means by default it will be a it will be an outer join which is similar to the concatenate keyword and this will basically take all the columns and rows from both the both the data set and show you all of the data like a one data set and will be no change in the final outcome. So I simply use join and click on save and reload the data and you see here we have the number of records change over here 102 and if you scroll down we have records up to 91. And in between you can see here we have multiple records for example 50, 50, 51, 51, 52, 52 because in table 1 we have records from 1 to 50, 1 to 60 sorry and in another data set we have records from 50 to 91. So like this we have total 102 records. So this is about the outer domain. Now let me introduce the inner joint. So how how inner join works and what is inner join. So I again go to the edit script and add a keyword over here before join that is inner join. So first let me introduce the inner join. So in inner join only the columns 
and records which are common in both the data set will be displayed. So I click on save and reload but in our scenario in our data set there are no common records so it will not produce any result and the table box will not display any output over here because in both the data set there are no common records. That. Now again I'll go to edit script and in place of inner join uh, I'll go to use the left join. I use left join. So basically what is left join? Left join is basically used to display all the records from the first table and the matching records from the second table. So let's do it. So I add a keyword over here left and click on save and reload the data. So what it will do? It will load all the data from the table 1 from this table and only the common records from table 2. But in our scenario we do not have any common records in table 2. That's why you see over here we have only record, a total record 60 records. So these all are records from table 1. We do not have any records from table 2 over here because there are no matching records in both the tables. So this is left join. Now how to perform a right join over here. So I simply delete this left join and write here right join. Right join as it is a very straightforward that right join will be the opposite of left join. It means it will display all the data from the second data set and it will display only the matching record from the first data set. So in our scenario it will display all the data from second table from the sales underscore staff underscore new data set and it will display only the common data set or common records from sales underscore staff dot QED. So I click on save and reload. So you see here we have total record there are 42 records so all these are records from second data set. So there are four different ways to use join the data and acquire the result as per the business condition. So either you can use left or right or outer or inner and if you do not use any keyword over here, if you do not use here right or left or inner, by default it will be an outer join. So that's all in my today's video. I hope that this video will be very helpful for you and give you, uh, give you information about joins in ClickView. I will come up with my new videos with some new topics. Till then, bye bye. Have a nice day ahead.